Hey fellow world warriors, it's Angry Turtle, and today I have a very short video, as I was getting close to on old posts at Reddit, I found this one that I will show you on the screen right now, and I was like, oh really? That can be actually useful, and I went into my workbench to test it out, and first I started to test if it's true for whatever weapon, or is it only the Gatling lasers. Then, obviously the cheapest weapons are pipe guns, and if you notice on the left hand side, 0.38 ammo, I have at this moment 12 rounds. And I go for this pipe pistol level 1, I craft it, I go back, and I have 21 suddenly. Then my ammo go up, it looks like whatever you craft, whichever gun you craft, I tested couple guns, I didn't craft every single possible one, but whatever gun you craft, it comes with ammo. Then let's see the let's see the Gatling laser. First I will make sure that I do not have any fusion cores on me. All my fusion cores will go to the stash box. I'm storing all my fusion cores. Every single one. My power armor is going to the storage. I do not have a power armor. And at this moment I do not have on me any fusion cores. You see fusion cells, fuel, no fusion cores. Now let's go back to the crafting, weapons workbench, and I'm going to craft heavy gun and gatling laser. Worth to mention, it is required to obtain the plan first that can be bought from Enclave and it requires gunsmith 4, but what is important, and you can see on the left I have zero fusion cores, I go to craft it, choose the lowest possible level to save on ingredients because it's quite expensive but the ingredients that, that really matter is circuitry and uh, fiber optics bundle. And I have 9 circuitry, 10 fiber optics bundle if I craft it. And super duper trigger, that is important. When super duper trigger I have two fusion cores because I did get two gatling lasers and each one comes with a fusion core. Then with these ingredients I have two fusion cores. And why is it so important? Uh, it's because the other option of crafting fusion core comes from chemistry station. And then you go into energy ammo and look at that. If you want to craft one fusion core, it requires every single one of stable fluxes. One of each stable fluxes. That's a crazy expensive. Stable fluxes are really hard to come by and you really don't want to use them to craft fusion cores then if you really need, it's much better to craft just Gatling lasers and get your fusion cores. And I know there are better ways like uh, claiming workshop or killing some robots for the fusion cores, but in this situation, if you have, like me, the unlimited storage for your scrap and you do not like to keep any fusion cores because they are heavy, and if you use them only occasionally, then it's quite a valuable option. You just go and craft fusion core without using any stable fluxes. I hope it's as interesting for you guys as it was for me as I when I discovered it as I play this game like since the release and I just now realized that whatever gun you craft it comes with an ammo. Just just one fun fact, not every gun comes with a full magazine like if I craft a minigun as I was thinking if this will be worth to use this method to craft 5mm ammo it's expensive, quite expensive, because it requires 12 screws. But apart from that, I have 719, I go back 819. It comes only with 100 rounds, that's not worth it. But in case of fusion cores, it's actually very worth it. Okay, now let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Did you know that such thing exists? Did you know that every gun you craft comes with some amount of ammunition, including the Gatling laser that comes with a full fusion core? Just to be absolutely clear, the fusion cores comes fully charged. And now, as always, thank you a lot for watching, and see you guys in the next one.